Okay, so when you start Battle Royale, one of the things that everyone will tell you is don't draft pitchers. They're going to tell you that over and over again. Never draft good pitching because it doesn't matter. Never get started because you only have one in five chance. The advice makes sense, okay? And that is why 99.9% .9 of the times that you do this, you are going to lose the game. But today, I am doing an all-pitching draft. You guys know I'm crazy. I'm TD Barrett. I love YouTube. I just love YouTube. I love you guys. So if you guys love me and you love YouTube too, drop a like down below. This draft, I'm going to be doing every single round, picking the guy who is the best pitcher. I don't know how this is going to work. It's going to be messy, but we're going to go through it together. Let's open the first round. I'm not even excited because I know I'm going to have to take the pitcher. It looks like we're going to be getting... I could have 99 David Wright, but it looks like we're going to be getting... Maximum Scherzer, which is kind of cool. Obviously, if that's probably the worst first round you can possibly get in human existence. Um, the good, the common round, rather than going with the pitchers now, we have to get hitters. The whole world has flipped. The whole world is for Danny Duffy in a silver round. For sure, man, throw Danny Duffy in there. I want to guarantee to myself that I get a good starting pitcher because who knows, maybe in the long run, that will actually pay off. Nobody really knows. Honestly, nobody knows here. I'm going to take a reliever in 84, David Price. I don't want to use any of my silvers and stuff. Um, okay, we've got a starting pitcher in Warren Spa. He's going to be the guy I have to take. I don't want Zach Britton. i got to go starters. I'm building the best pitching draft you can possibly do. Literally, I did this last year. It was a ton of fun. No one ever does this. This is not what they tell you to do in draft school. They really, really don't. I, mean, I got to take some hitting. Rod Crew. Plus, I think I can do better with the silver. I have two gold rounds. So I want to make sure that they go to pitching. That's the goal, is that for them to end up on pitching. I can get Real Munto. That's a good catcher. I'm going to take him in the silver round here. I think I should really ease up, though, on this. I think I'm a little... Like, I'm making a little bit of a mistake in what I just did with the silvers. I don't think that was the smartest thing I've ever done in my life. But there's a lot of things that I do that are not very smart. There is a ton of things. Greg Garcia. These should have to start being... The pitching then, wouldn't you guys think? Now they're making me take these guys. Now they're making me take these like garbage pitchers. I don't like that. Come on. What are you, you guys are ruining the draft. You guys are ruining the draft forever. All the viewers, you guys are making this awful. You're filling my bullpen with just complete and total garbage. Uh, I can't take anybody. I don't want to take a starter because I I've come this far. I want to guarantee that my starters are really really good that's what i want to guarantee is that one of my starters who we get and i want to see if maybe that's even a better way to do it i don't think it is to be honest i think i am completely wrong um and i will probably lose this game but it's just this is just for fun it's for the boys it's for mlb the show it's for the community it's for all of you guys i'm talking so incredibly fast right now uh last starter are they making me they're making me choose a starter here okay we got to go with yavaldo Jimenez. So our starting pitchers now have two diamonds, which is really, really good. Now I got to try and fix my hitting. I'm going to be getting two gold hitters, which is pretty cool. So you can draft a team without having to like, you know, what am I trying to say right now? I'm trying to say something. It's just not happening right now in my brain. My brain is working, but it's not working over time. It's working very, very slow. Uh, here I'm going to go with Adrian Beltre. He's a really good hitter. Not that fast. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is you can draft a really good pitching round without completely sacrificing your hitting. I'm going to get Granderson here. Last round of the whole thing. Let's go and see. I'm taking Ken Griffey Jr. And let's go make the team and go jump in to the game. So it paid off really, really well. I got my diamond pitcher. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, that's going to test my patience. That is going to majorly test. I almost want to let somebody on base. Okay. I didn't even have to let somebody on base. Just... So I did not have to watch him pitch out of the full windup. Oh my gosh, that is painful. Pop up, okay, get it back to first. I don't know, like, speed in the MLB is so huge. Like, D Gordon, that should be an out for literally anybody. But he's standing on first because of that crazy speed. I think it's so underrated in the MLB. Let's see what he's doing. He's going. He's going on everything. Like, I don't know if he thinks D Gordon is completely untouchable. Like, I know he's good, buddy. But it, you can't steal twice in a row. Like, I literally had my finger on triangle just waiting for you. I don't know how long I'm going to give Warren here. Warren is low-key making me just want to cry at this point just with how slow his delivery is. Go, Griffey. Gun it in. Gun it in. It is what it is. There's a runner on second. No egg on my face. There's no runs. That, that's how I look at things. When there's a runner on second with two out, 
I'm not worried. There is absolutely no runs, and I can still get out of it. It just, when he scores, like right now, now I'm worried. Now I'm starting to think that something is bad. I'm throwing this to second, though. Hopefully we can get him out at two. Bad throw, and dang it, man. Warren, blame that guy. It's his problem, not mine. Good pitch. one nothing. I still haven't hit yet, though. I still got lots of time to get some runs on the board. Hopefully we can do it. I gotta get off directional though, because I don't play on directional. Adrian Beltre is up here. I've always loved his stance. Like in these games, I always find I hit best with the kind of like closed off stance. I'm thinking of changing my road to the show player to Adrian Beltre stance. Like actually though, because it just seems like I always hit better with it. I don't know. I don't know if it's a mental thing or what, but I always hit better. I don't know what I did for a stadium here, but it is disgusting. I can't see anything. I picked like a dusky game at Camden Yards, which I don't even know if I said that word right. It just came out of my mouth kind of funny. I'm not sure. But like, I hate this stadium. Whatever I did, I'm never doing this again. I promise to you guys, I'll never put you through this again. Come on. Oh, I popped up. Dang it. Okay, stay up first, Adrian. Stay up first, Adrian. Just chill out. Let's see what happens now. Let's just wait and see what's going to happen now. Aaron Judge. Okay. Judgment Day is up it's time for a judgment bomb that's hit well that's gonna judgment day baby it is judgment day oh my gosh i crushed that ball i actually like killed that thing and i knew it too when i drafted Aaron judge i was like i just had a gut feeling i was like i'm gonna hit a dinger i am gonna hit a dinger with Aaron judge and sure enough he threw me the perfect pitch and we pulled it off okay come on jt real munto Come on, just a little bit in front of it. Let's keep this inning going. It's only 2-1. I still got Warren spawn in the mound. Mr. Slow Delivery, and I have no bullpen. So I'm going to leave Warren in, even though watching him pitch just kills me slowly, honestly. Like, it's just one of the most deadly things is watching. It's just it's messed. It's completely messed. I hate watching him pitch. I really, really do. 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, 4-1000, 5-1000, 6 1000 Seven. That's a legit eight seconds between every single pitch. And, like, that's messed up. I don't have eight seconds to just give away in a day. Like, Warren, do you think your time is more valuable than all the other pitchers? I'm going to have to give Warren a big talk to him. But do you think your time is more valuable, Warren? Because I kind of feel like you do. The way you're pitching, it almost feels like you do. That's a nice spot that I just pitched it right there. Unfortunately, we just missed. Okay, Warren, get into the nice release. You be chill. There we go. And that's a low curveball. He's making contact. I cannot get this dude out. Just go home, please, Buddy Bell. Buddy Bell, don't try and make this game close. Don't try and be a hero. Just get out and let me move on with my day. That would be the best. Okay, we got that. We got. I think our first base is fast enough. Yes, he is. Good job. Well, we made our opponent rage quit. And I'm going to tell you guys what's going on in my life right now and why I am unable to play two games. Normally, I would for sure do two games. We got the win. I might do another one with this draft. If you guys want to see that, drop a like. I am flying out in literally an hour. I have stayed up all night doing videos. I am completely out of time. I have to pack up my PlayStation and stuff. So videos after this one, you're probably going to see in Orlando, Florida. God bless you guys, though. We got the W. It was still a fun video. I really enjoyed making it. You guys saw the Judgment Day home run. Have an absolutely awesome day. Stay fearless. Stay happy. And yeah, subscribe to the channel. That's all I got to say. And I will see you guys next time.